What's up guys, Ruxin34 back here with another video, and today we have a super epic Labyrinth of Nightmare first edition opening. So, before we start that, I'm going to remind you guys to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And yeah, I have a couple announcements before we get started, and we do the giveaway, and we do the opening. But first of all, I want to announce that I now have a TCG Player affiliate link. So... That eBay link that I've been telling you guys about, that a couple of you guys have been using. I've noticed a few got if you guys have used it, I have gotten a kickback from it so far, so that's really cool. Um, we actually got a TCG player link. So now if you want to buy anything on TCG player, use my link down below in the description. Click on it, go buy whatever you want on TCG player, and it will register that you use my link and it'll support the channel. So now you can buy stuff on eBay, you can buy stuff on TCG player, you know, whatever you want. So Use those links if you guys want to support the channel, and it'd be awesome. I just actually got a new computer today. My computer, if you see back there, is ancient. It's terrible. It takes forever to upload videos. I, it takes forever to edit. I just bought a new computer, and it was it was a lot, let me tell you. But it's going to be awesome when we finally get it. So, yeah, whenever you guys use that link, it really helps out because that was not cheap. But this thing is a 2012, and it barely runs. So this new one's going to be a beast. Hopefully, we're going to have some epic, like, epic videos after that like editing it'll be easier to edit i'll be able to do cooler stuff so um that's it for the announcements let's get into the opening labyrinth of nightmare first edition hope you guys are excited all right guys here we are labyrinth of nightmare first edition that was kind of loud 24 packs yes so we've never opened a first edition 24 pack labyrinth of nightmare box we did open a 36 pack um, this is not technically a sealed box, but I have uh, weighed out the packs and there are hollows in here unless it's like being crazy So this is basically an unweighed box um, Before that let's do the giveaway. So this is gonna be a pretty good one guys like we're giving away just nor like normal a few cards These are good ones. We have a ultra rare destiny board from labyrinth of nightmare ultra rare torrential tribute from labyrinth of nightmare Ultra Rare Dark Necrofear. This actually came right out of a pack. Dark Necrofear. So it, um, look how off-centered it is. It's actually kind of cool how off-centered it is. And then a Secret Rare Magic Cylinder. So, four Labyrinth of Nightmare cards. Hollows, Ultra Rares, and a Secret Rare. All you have to do is like the video. Like the video and comment. And if you want to, do it. Share the video, guys. Labyrinth of Nightmare, first edition giving away these cards to one commenter, so make sure you comment down below, like the video, let's try and hit 100 likes on this video. We can do it, we've done it several times before, and I'll give those four epic cards away. So, um, what I'm hoping for in this video, I would like to pull a Gemini Elf, because that's the secret out of the 24 pack box. Um, I would also like a Torrential Tribute, as I just showed you guys in first edition, that'd be really awesome. Obviously I want these uh, to be gradable. Um, and then I would also like, what was the other card I wanted? Um, I already have a Necrofear, so I wouldn't mind another Necrofear, but I have a Necrofear in 10. I pulled a Last Warrior already, and then I have a uh, Mass Beast already in 10. So there was another card I wanted. It was, uh, I don't remember, but maybe we'll pull it and then I'll remember. Um, but basically anything I don't have will be fine. Like, I'll be happy with it. So it's kind of cool. I really just want the Gemini Elf and everything else I'm just going to be happy with. So, um, this is going to be fun. Let's go ahead and open these. This one was like in a middleweight, so I think we're going to open this one first, okay? So, first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare. Put your seatbelts on, because here we go. Sit back and enjoy. Have it. Oh, I've never opened 24-pack Labyrinth of Nightmare, so this is pretty cool. All right, let's hope this has a hollow in it. The Emperor's Holiday. The Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams. First first edition opening with the face cam, so that's pretty exciting. Lady Assailant of Flames. Dragonic Attack. What do we get? Oh, Revival Jam. Okay, that's one of the supers I wanted. Let's see about the centering. Try not to lean forward too much. Okay, that's a weird, like, print thing on there. The centering is a little bit off. That is weird. Can you guys see that? Look at this. See that? That printing? It's like double print line. That's weird. Revival Jam is definitely one of my favorite supers from this set. It just has a beautiful blue to it. I don't know what it is, but it just looks really nice. So that's pretty cool. That's a super rare, so that's good. That was one of the middleweight packs, so maybe we can get that Gemini Elf. Um, Rock Spirit. 
Flame Dancer, Fire Sorcerer, and Curse of the Mass Beast. I would not be bad to pull another Curse of the Mass Beast because I do have a 10, but that card is epic. It just looks so cool. All right, so Revival Gem. We got uh, some Strings cards out here. All right, first edition Labyrinth of Nightmare. We got six more packs, I think. Or maybe I have more. I don't know. I don't remember how many I had, but here we go. Whew, let's pull something good. Boneheimer. The Unfriendly Amazon. Swordsman of Lanster. Bait Doll. And a Dark Spirit of the Silence. That's a cool card. Um, this is an odd one because, like, I believe every copy has that black text printed on it. So it's a super rare, but it has a black text printed on it for some reason. This one's pretty OC. Um, instead of just like normal, like normal text, it's weird. So yeah, I don't know. It's pretty odd. Well, here, okay, wait, here's the difference. Okay, so this already has black text anyway, but this is like thin text. It's very strange. It's like, it looks like it should be hollow right there. But it's just black, so it's pretty cool. So that's not a bad pull. Soul of Purity and Light, Deal of Phantom, Flying Fish, and Crimson Sentry. All right, two packs down. Okay, let's see. We got a few more packs. All right, we pull two supers. It'd be epic to get a secret rare and two ultras. Basically, any ultras with the secret rare would be amazing. Because I want pretty much all of them. Because I've pulled several of them, but. The Dark Door, Dream Sprite. This looks like to be from be from Avatar the movie, not The Last Airbender, which is amazing by the way, but not that. Earthbound Spirit. Whew. All right, guys, like the video for luck. Jim and I Elf. Defusion. Okay, that's a cool one. The centering is pretty good on this one. Looks like the card is in very good condition. Okay, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so I don't know when my next PSA sub is going to be because of, I don't know if you guys have seen the PSA rate, like has just changed. It's changed. They've changed a lot of subs. Weird. Um, I probably talked about it in a video. Hysteric Fairy, Headless Knight, Lady Panther, and Grand Tiki Elder. Yeah, so I don't know when I'm going to sub these, but eventually I will. Hopefully they'll have another Yu-Gi-Oh special at some point. That would be really cool. Um, my... I have a Yu-Gi-Oh special that's on like day 60 something. It's supposed to only be a 45 day turnaround, so um, I don't know what's going on, but hopefully we get good grades out of it, but we'll see. All right, fourth pack, Labyrinth of Nightmare, first edition pack. <sighs> Give us that Gemini. Spirit of Flames, look at that dude. That dude's pretty ripped for being a spirit. Like when you think spirit, you don't really think, you know, ripped. Lightning Blade. Garuda, the Wind Spirit. The Emperor's Holiday. Here it is. Give us that pull. Yes! Gemini Elf. Okay, what's the centering look like? Oh, I dropped those other cards. Okay. The centering looks... It looks okay. It looks like he could do it. Okay, let's, let's make sure we're nice and uh, clean here. And then the back looks beautiful on it. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. That is a nice looking card. Okay, the centering is a little bit off. But I don't think... I don't think that it's too bad. I think it, I think that can cut it. That's about 60-40. Yeah, that's, that's not too bad. Okay, it's close, but... That's an epic pull either way. Gemini Elf First Edition. Okay, that's exciting. Vanilla Secret Rare. But at the time, 1900 was so good, you know, that like it had to be a secret rare. So that's pretty cool. The Rock Spirit, Flame Dancer, Fire Sorcerer, and Biomage. Well, at least they're not centered like this. Oh, that's terrible. Whew, so we got it. Three Supers and a Secret. So it looks like hopefully we'll have two Ultras in these last three packs. So if we could end with like a Torrential Tribute and whatever that other card is that I wanted, I can't remember what it is. What did I want? I can't remember. Maybe we'll see. I Destiny Board would be cool. I don't think it was Destiny Board though that I was thinking of. All right, here we go. Bait Doll. 
Make sure you guys like the video. Share the video. The Forgiving Maiden. Saint Joan. Some people say Saint Joanne, but I, but Joanne I think would be A N N E. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Empress Mantis. What can we pull? Dark Necrofear. Oh, it's a little off centered. But wow. Dark Necrofear. This is a really good box. Oh man, too bad the centering is off. Wow, that's a nice card. Oh, oh, okay, I can't get it. These sleeves are a little bent. It's kind of annoying. Dark Necrofear. Look at that horrible centering. <laughs> wow, that's an epic pull. Dark Necrofear First Edition from Labyrinth of Nightmare. That is really cool. Collecting Power, Miracle Dig, Lightning Conger, and Dancing Fairy. So um, that's okay because I do have that in 10. So I don't actually need another 10. It would be nice because it's actually a pretty pricey 10. Um, it's like 300 something bucks. Um, but still, I'll put that in my binder. I'll put it with all. <laughs> I'll put it in my Legacy of Darkness pulls if, if that reminds you of anything. Both of those boxes, the pulls are just in my binder because there's. Zero out of all the all the pulls. How many cards we pulled like let's see six we pulled like maybe like fifteen hollows from those boxes and zero of them were gradable? Yeah, that was a nightmare. A labyrinth of nightmare. Oh okay, well that was I'm sorry. Yeah <laughs> Gadget Soldier. Fairy Guardian. Offerings to the Doom. It'd be nice to get like a bazoo, maybe. I I did pull that last time. Um Ultra Rares. You know, I've mentioned those a lot. Milk of the Four Faced Beast. Fire Princess. Oh my goodness. There's the normal Fire Princess centering. Super off center. It has the same as Necrofear. The top is just very off centered. That's a cool card. Inflict 500 points of drag damage to your opponent's life points. Each time you increase your own life points. Oh, that's an annoying card right there. <laughs> Alright, final pack. Wait, let's finish this one. Grand Tiki Elder. Cure Mermaid. Uh, Ikbyo Drachmord. I think at one time I went Ikbyo <laughs> Earl of Demise. I remember that now that I said that. Now it's being weird. Okay. <sighs> Final pack, Labyrinth of Nightmare, first edition, 24 pack. Please be an ultra rare. Okay, this should be an ultra rare, but you never know with these with these boxes. Old school, it could be nothing. You never know. It's crazy. Okay, final pack of the box. Once again, oh, I forgot to say, I did get these from Pokemon Revolution. I mentioned that in the mail day. Thanks again for the box. I pulled the Gemini Elf, so pretty epic. Um, let's finish this off with an epic ultra rare. Spherus Lady. Fusion Gate. Shining Abyss. Mario Kutai. Final Hollow. Hopefully that's a hollow. Is it's a trap? Oh, it's a super! Dang it, it is another super. And oh my goodness, the centering got really bad on those last few pulls. So no ultra, no second ultra, but that's okay. We did get the secret rare, bio mage, aqua spirit, spirit elimination, and soul layer. So we get the second, uh, or we did get the secret rare, which I preferred over any ultras because I do have the ultras that I really like out of this set already. Massive restrict the cover card. That was what I wanted. I just now remembered, but. I'm very happy with those pulls overall. Um, some of them are gradable, so that's nice. You can't you can't get everything gradable with old schools usually. Sometimes you can, but you gotta get really lucky. Um, let's see. Okay, this is what we pulled out of this epic 24 pack Labyrinth of Nightmare first edition box. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really did. It's a lot of fun. We pulled seven hollows: Fire Princess, Ryoku Field, Dark Spirit of the Silent, Defusion. Revival Gem, Dark Necrofear, Bakura, and then the Gemini Elf. So yeah, we pulled the Secret Rare, so that was really, really exciting. And of course, Dark Necrofear. Unfortunately, it's not gradable. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was this was pretty nice. This is one of our one of our better old school openings for sure. And um, yeah, we've got a lot of good stuff coming up in the future. So make sure you guys like it. Share the video so we can grow and continue to, you know, open stuff. Hopefully I can find some even more epic boxes, which is, with what we've been opening, it's kind of setting the bar pretty high, but I don't even know. But we're going to keep looking. I actually have um, a couple of epic boxes coming up 
One is actually not mine. It's a viewer sending it in. So, and I'm opening it for him, and it's a really good one. He's sending a really good one. So, you guys should be excited about that. Hopefully, we can pull him some epic pulls. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.